Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Saturday, August 29th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we start off this Saturday morning with periods of rain moving through the region. This is what's left of Laura that is moving through the area. Temperatures throughout the region range from the upper 60s to mid 70s over the New York City metro and the interior Philadelphia metro mid to upper 70s with periods of rain especially over central and southern New Jersey this morning, but really also throughout the region, some of these showers are capable of some very heavy downpours between cloudy skies and drizzle. So the good news is that the bulk of this heavy rain is rapidly moving out of the region this morning. By this afternoon, though, we'll be dealing more with isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Why? What's happening? Well, again, this is the remnants. This is clearing out. Then we have a first cold front with our wave of low pressure and then our secondary cold front back here. Now, this cold front slash trough will clear out what's left of Laura out into the region. And then this afternoon, we'll be out ahead of this cold front with the threat for isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. So you'll get some breaks, a little bit of sun, a little muggy out there, but temperatures will start to rebound. So as that cold front approaches, will start to rebound into temperatures into the upper 70s to lower 80s. Then, that cold front moves through in this evening, it's going to feel amazing. Temperatures are going to fall, We're talking about 50s and 60s, and the dew points, how about the 40s? Not bad, right? But we're still going to get through today with showers and thunderstorms. Now, when you take a look at our latest infrared satellite picture, you can again see that cold front approaching back here, this is another area of low pressure and another pretty impressive trough here in the subtropical jet stream that's going to be approaching from Monday night into Tuesday. That's going to bring the threat for some widespread rainfall with a warm front approaching the area. We're going to be in between here by tonight on through tomorrow with very pleasant conditions on the way. And this is a zoomed in what we call a sandwich satellite picture. This is a combination of the Visible satellite picture and the infrared satellite picture it gives you the texture of the visible and the uh, colors of the infrared that show you the cloud tops. And you can see your coldest cloud tops are pushing off the New Jersey coast, skating around Long Island. And then after that, the cloud tops are a little bit warmer, which means the lifting's a little bit weaker. And then one cold front, two cold fronts, and then we are free and done. So I know that some of you guys are Mets, Yankees fans, Phillies fans. I do think they'll play the games today, but I also do think there's going to be some delays, so definitely be aware of that. So, for today, periods of rain this morning, scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Tonight, humidity crashes, skies clear, dew points fall into the 40s, and low temperatures will range from the upper 50s to mid 60s. By tomorrow afternoon, look for scattered cloud cover to clear skies and highs in the mid to upper 70s. And oh, by the way, very low humidity. On Monday, the high pressure passes over the region. Look for lows in the upper 40s to mid 50s over the interior, mid to upper 50s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Now, Monday night into Tuesday, rain starts to move into the region ahead of a cold front. I have to try to say warm front. Now, the warm front's way down here, right? What's happening is that at the mid-levels of the atmosphere, a lot of warm air is invading and pushing into this air mass down at the surface called a maritime air mass, and that leads to a lot of cloud cover and a lot of rainfall. So on Tuesday, temperatures aren't going to move all that much. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, high temperatures in the mid 70s with periods of rain, and then by Wednesday, you see that warm front here by Wednesday morning around 8 a.m. Well, by the afternoon, it'll be well north of the region. But by that point, the maritime air mass will be driven out. So we'll just have some scattered to isolated showers with this warm front lifting through with temperatures on Wednesday ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows and highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s. On Thursday, that warm front's well to the north, more of a tropical air mass. Watch out for fog in the morning, isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. Lows in the lower to mid 70s, highs in the lower to mid 80s. On Friday, a cold front passes through with isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Look for lows in the lower to mid 70s, highs in the mid to upper 80s. And on Saturday, next Saturday, high pressure and complete control with clear skies, low humidity, 
Lows in the mid 50s to lower 60s. Highs in the mid 70s to lower 80s. And by the way, I know that some of you would really, really like to hear this. Through the 7 to 15 day forecast, not one region, not one location in the region has high temperatures in the 90s this morning in the forecast. So certainly some good news as we move more towards fall and into September. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always, stay safe out there.